St. Patrick's Day! Or in your guys' case, it's probably not quite St. Patrick's Day, but we wanted to make sure that you guys had time to make this recipe and be prepared for St. Patrick's Day. I'm so excited. What are we doing today? So we've been doing a lot of like main dishes, food dishes, yep. and we're yep. starting to switch it up because we got a sweet tooth today. We're yes. gonna make a dessert. Dessert. But with St. Patrick's Day coming up, Saint we gotta Patrick's put a twist. Day. Twist. I'm just repeating stuff that you're saying. <laughs> oh, we're gonna make it a boozy dessert. Oh, yikes. I hope you guys got your drinking pants on because this is going to be a Irish car bomb cupcake. Brings me back to college. Oh, God. So 21 and up for this recipe. You ready? Ready. So this cupcake is not any ordinary cupcake. It is an elevated cupcake. There are three different parts. We're going to make the base of the actual cupcake. Yep. And there's gonna be alcohol in that. Sure. Then we're going to make a ganache filling oh. for inside the cupcake. Sure. And there's gonna be alcohol in that. Oh, of course. And then we're gonna make homemade frosting to top it all off. Oh. And there's also gonna be alcohol in that one. Yep. So three for three, let's make the trifecta. Now let's do it. These are all the ingredients to make the cupcake. Like I said, this is gonna be a little bit of a labor of love, but it's gonna be worth it. All right, cupcake first. the most labor intensive part. So now we got to make the ganache, which I'm still not 100% sure what that is. It's a chocolate filling. Okay, but they can just say that. They don't have to be asses about it. I'm gonna do this part and while they're baking in the oven at what? Three, 350 degrees. 350 degrees for about 16, 17 minutes. We're gonna make this. Okay, we've got the cupcakes done. We've got the ganache done. All that's left is the frosting. Gotta be the best part of this entire cupcake. I mean, look at it. It's got powdered sugar, butter, and alcohol. Literally all you need in life. Yeah, it's gonna Other than you. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right, so everything is finally done. We got the cupcakes made, we got the ganache made, and we got the frosting made. So let's just go ahead and do the fun part and construct them and then eat the shit out of them.
excited. We have our boozy cupcakes, our Irish car bomb cupcakes. So now it's time. Let's see if it tastes like when, do you remember when we did the uh, Irish car bomb? Just Irish car bombs, mm. yes. All right, here we go. Oh. You get a hint of the alcohol, but it's not overpowering whatsoever. Honestly, yeah. I taste the Baileys from the from the mm -hmm. frosting here, but other than that, I guess I don't really, a little bit of that Guinness. It gives like a richness to it. Oh, Ooh, I can see the ganache too. Yeah, I'll say the ganache is falling out too. Mm. I wonder if we'll be drunk. Maybe, just gotta eat all of them. Delicious. Ganache is my favorite part. Gosh, gosh, ganache. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you guys have the time to make this for St. Patrick's Day. These were absolutely amazing cupcakes and they mm. really weren't too hard to make either. So yeah. if you got the time, go ahead and do that. Also, if you got the time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like away if you can and comment as much as you'd like. Other than that, we'll see you guys next time. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day.